What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Room Tour Project, episode 235, the first episode of 2021, and this week we're going to be doing a best of the best, showing off my favorite setups from all of 2020, so a grand revisiting of the best setups from last year. Now, instead of going through and just talking your ear off about all the specs and hardware, I'll show some of that up on screen for you guys so you can visually see it. But I'm just going to talk about what I like about the setup, what, you know, kind of sets it apart. But what I'll do is in the description, I will drop the actual episode uh, listing for you guys. If you want to find out more about it, you can go back to that episode and check the description there for all the gear and hardware. So, a best of the best this week. Let's kick it off now. 235. Hope you guys are kicking back with your coffee and waffles and enjoying this episode because it's going to be a long one. So first up from episode 200, which was the first episode of 2020, we've got Burt. And this is one of the most stylish, modern looking setups I've seen. You can tell this guy's got some real taste. Like everything here is just beautiful. It's straight out of like a design magazine, I feel like. In a dead giveaway, you know when someone knows what's up is when they have a Rama build. So when I first saw this, I was like, all right, this guy, he knows the goods. And obviously he does with a custom build there. Always nice to see. And great taste in audio as well with the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pros. Um, again, I'm not gonna be going over all the specs and stuff for every single setup, but you get the idea. When you see a setup like this, that's obviously not like one of the craziest we've seen on the channel when it comes to like four or five different monitors. You guys know damn well I love the clean and minimal ones. So when I saw this originally, I was like, I want this. If I could trade everything and just have this setup, I totally would. Because it's a killer room. Like this spot seems so nice. You're just relaxing, getting some work done. I love all the natural ambient lighting. Like I absolutely love this setup. Killer job, Bert. Again, this is from episode 200. Then taking a leap all the way to episode 213 is Basti with the real natural looking setup from the hanging plants everywhere. But one thing that I first saw that really kind of took me back was how he has that graphic and that, that wall print behind the monitors matching to the actual wallpaper. So I don't really know what the entire design is, but you can see it spans perfectly and just visually fits into that nature sort of feel and vibe. Again, I don't know what that actual design is, but I mean, it looks killer <laughs> with everything else. So the three monitors with the two ultra wides on bottom, one up top, and you might have saw he had these speakers mounted on the wall as well. And there were some cables, but funny enough, the cables that were dripping down, it kind of blended in with the ivy and stuff. So it wasn't like an eyesore, it wasn't sticking out. It all just mends so, so well. And that's not an easy thing to do. It's, it's not easy to make visible cables like look decent. You know what I mean? But then again, when you have all the ivy and stuff around, who's going to care about cables? You got some ivy giving you some life. Another thing that's hard to do is make Tan and Noctua kind of look good, but here inside the PC, it looks like it fits right in. Even got some matching braided cables. Another thing I thought was a really good idea and really well thought out was that the top monitor is on a really large extending monitor arm. So you can fold it off to the left side of his setup where he has the bed there so he can kick back, watch movies, watch TV, even game on there if he wants. And then when he wants to put the setup back together, just roll it over, completing the trifecta of monitors there. But man, this setup looks so nice, just so unique. Next up for episode 216, we had Styles of Man. And this one is another one of those clean setups. This was actually from a clean and minimal edition. So obviously I'm gonna be liking it because spoiler, those are my favorite sort of themes. And when I saw this, I, th I think that the gray wall is one thing that just makes everything else pop and stand out. And it makes those natural earthy tones stand out more with the wooden desk the wrist rest, the plants around, all that natural lighting with the window. Like it's those earthy tones that I think really become more apparent when you have that dark contrast of the wall. And obviously going all wireless peripherals are gonna help maintain that cleaner appearance on the desktop as well. Some of the design choices I really like is the white cubicle shelves behind the setup with the, the bamboo speakers there. I'm loving that little like Arctic sort of geometric lamp in the middle. The sunset painting behind it, which kind of goes along with the wall clock, as well as the monitor wallpaper. So it's the attention to details all throughout that brings some of those splashes of color to an otherwise, you know, natural tone setup that I think is really, really nice. So again, you take a look at it from this angle, you see the clock, you see the painting, you see the wallpaper, you see the prints off to the right side, and those colors really become more apparent and I think just complement everything so, so well. Killer setup from Styles of Man. 
Next up for episode 218 is Jordan P. And I think hands down he has one of the most popular fan favorite setups I've seen. When this episode dropped, everybody's jaws dropped as well. And the whole comment section was just about how perfect this setup really is. And I mean, you got to give it to him. It is. I love the span wallpaper here that's, you know, symmetrical. It's got it inverse so it flows. The wallpaper is also consistent down to the iPad on the desk. And as you saw, those massive windows with all that natural lighting, definitely a refreshing feeling when you got to sit down here, everything. I think this, this symmetry is what I can probably appreciate and like the most. And as you see, it's an all Apple setup from the MacBook Pro, the iPad, the Apple Magic Keyboard, Apple Magic Mouse, and that's going to be powering everything here. And miss me with that Apple hate, by the way, because with this show, it doesn't matter about brands and companies and names. What matters here is about the setups themselves and how they give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. I mean, that's literally the intro. I say that every single week. So Jordan P, again, episode 218, coming in with just one of the most perfect, immaculate looking setups I've seen, taking symmetry and that cleanness to an all new level. Damn. From episode 221, we have Twin Skunk. And this is definitely one of those ones I alluded to that is just crazy OP, triple monitors, massive overhead TV there. And I love the like the pastel blues and oranges for that sunset wallpaper that looks really nice in conjunction with the rest of the room. Again, got some plants in there as you can see. The foam panels up on each side of the wall is definitely gonna help cut down. A lot of the reverb in this space, because as you can see by most of his hardware, the webcam, the mic, the mixer, I'd assume he does a good amount of streaming from this setup. And I mean, who wouldn't? Now you might say yes, a massive 65 inch TV in conjunction with a 49 inch ultra wide plus two more monitors on each side is a bit overkill, but hey, that's what this show is all about. We're giving the best of the best this week. But it does start to make more sense once you realize all three of the bottom monitors are used for gaming. So when he pulls up the racing wheel there and now it's like a racing rig, he has all that screen real estate on the bottom to kind of wrap around most of his peripheral vision. And you know, when it comes to a racing simulator, that's kind of what you want, isn't it? That he can have that overhead be whatever he wants for, you know, monitoring his feed or whatever, have TV up on there. I know I just want to sit down and play some dirt rally on here. The PC is unfortunately underneath the desk, so it's not ideal for us in terms of trying to see it with the setup, you know? Um, however, that's also going to help him out with some cable management. You can probably hear my dogs upstairs barking. And as you can see, that is all on lockdown with a great job keeping all those cables managed. Tons of outlets there under the desk so they don't have to travel too, too far. Won't be hanging down. But man, 221, twin skunk here coming in and absolutely killing it even with the dragon spanned wallpaper in all its glory. Episode 222 saw Cheeky Scrub. And what I like about this one is, uh, again, I'm gonna point out the obvious, but the plants. Even though it's you know pretty obviously like fake ivy and the, the fern kind of look with it drooping down from the monitors and behind the backside of the desk, A, it's gonna hide some cables. So like you see, hiding the cables from the speakers. B, it's gonna perfectly match his wallpaper like to a T. And then C, it's also gonna pretty much fit in with that natural theme, highlighting that natural walnut desktop, which looks really nice and rich with the green kind of accenting it a bit more. So that's why. I like it. It's also, for all things considered, with all the gear and hardware he has, it's also pretty clean. Like, this is a really good job of keeping it not overcrowded and not overdoing it, I think. Yeah, there's three monitors and mounted speakers and stuff, but I wouldn't really call this overkill, you know? All right, we're like nine minutes into this. I'm already running out of things to say. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting repetitive. We got pretty much more than halfway to go here, so that's always good. So a quick peek at the PC, and I also really like the public service broadcasting prints he has mounted above the setup. And the last thing I want to point out that I really like about his monitor wallpaper is that it's really cool that the outer monitors are out of focus for the picture and just the middle subject is in focus. What that does is it kind of gives it like the appearance that you're kind of looking through a window, but also it's not being too distracting either. So it looks really, really good and just blends here perfectly. Now from episode 226, we have Natalie, and she did a really good job of picking and executing a really unique theme, with it all being dedicated to Anubis. So from the monitor wallpapers with the Natalie for light panels, it's all blue, yellow, and it all just has that sort of you know, Egyptian nod and theme to it. See the prints on the wall as well. I love the monitor layout here. I feel like in the community, we dubbed this the TIE Fighter monitor setup. 
And again, my main first thought when I saw this was just that it is so unique because when have you ever seen a complete Anubis theme setup? I know I never have. And for being the host of this series for six years now, as crazy as that sounds, yes, people, I've been doing this for six years. That's longer than the person you always accuse me of copying. It's very rare that you come across a setup like this that is just so different than the other ones that I get submitted all the time. So major props to Natalie for the one of one custom Anubis setup love the blue and yellow it's such a I feel like underutilized color theme I know with cyberpunk it's starting to become you know more of a thing now but blue and yellow the complementary colors really looks good here and then also from episode 226 Jay Hazes with another one that is like I, I would trade my setup for this in a heartbeat because it's really hard to successfully put together an appealing looking setup that's also clean and minimal you guys know I've been working on my minimal office for like almost an entire year now it's pretty much close to being done but it just doesn't look nearly as good as this like how do you just manage to nail that look in every regard I'm so jealous it looks so good I love the wallpaper choice with both the PC monitor with the leaves and the greenery there but also his actual wall wallpaper it's gray it's textured it's a nice contrast point from the all white desk and peripherals even over to the PC you know all black and white here so having that contrast in that textured actual physical wallpaper I think it was a great choice for this room in the setup also a fan of the pegboard on the right side in black so it still kind of blends in a little bit the life X beam on the left side you could see uh, kind of highlighting that shelf and then drooping down off to the side you saw on the first shot it was sort of like offset behind the monitor whatever way you have this set up man it's gonna look crazy because you nailed this one Jay Hayes's and moving on over to episode 229 we have this really nice looking setup from Chris M loving that expanded L-shaped wooden desk here just a super rich finish to it looks really nice Nana leaf roar light panels the greens the blues and teals there as well as the monitor wallpaper and the RGB light strip around the entire desk and this is one that utilizes that dual setup here so the primary setup on the right side has the Dell ultra sharp as the overhead the one on the bottom and then on the left side as you saw the secondary setup it's all about versatility it's all about you know just making the most out of your space so here how in the massive l-shaped desk gives you the ability to get some work or gaming done here whatever you need to do then just shift the chair a little bit move on over to the left and it's a brand new setup this is also a really great job of cable management inside the actual PC. So if you take a look at the 16 pin cable from the GPU, as well as the 24 pin from the motherboard, then how he has it nicely routed with the AIO tubes there, it all just looks so well managed. And I tried to do that in my recent build, doesn't look nearly as nice. So big props for that idea and just the execution there. Then a quick peek at the secondary setup over on the left side. Uh, so the main one was powered by the PC we just showed you. This one all off the Alienware 15R2. So again, all about that flexibility right here in front of you. Definitely an inspiring setup. I know I got some ideas from it. I know the audience really liked it as well as episode 229, Crowned by Chris. And then episode 231 here had probably one of my all-time favorite setups and I know when you first look at it you're like what this is your all-time favorite yeah it's definitely up there because look at how clean this is I love the the splash of the white LEDs around it's behind the monitor behind the desk it's just there's something about this you know maybe it's just the quality of the photos I don't know but there's something so special about it that I look at this and I just my eyes start to water a bit I love the idea of using the pegboard there to sort of manage and organize the loose key switches. I love that you're using my custom topo desk pad, like come on. Plus the custom KBD build, nice MX Master 2S mouse, like when it comes to the aesthetics, you know, the design choices here, it's all 110% on point. Like even this build looks super nice, like how is it looking? like it has this angelic glow on the inside how are these white leds in your pc in the setup just shining so much more magical than the others that's what this setup is it's clean it's minimal it's magical nice ikea desk setup with the white drawers white chair white shelves got the white print and the dark wall just makes it all pop man oh man 
All right, I'll be perfectly honest. For these last few, I'm not gonna do specs only because this old MacBook Pro is taking a beating with all these overlays and graphics, and there's just too much going on for these upcoming few. So from episode 232, we have Havoc. And I mean, it really speaks for itself. We got the three beautifully mounted monitors, a side setup over on the left side, the hexagon panels up on the wall with the backlighting to it. Don't know how he pulled that off. Don't even know what they are, but they look fantastic. The Nano Leaf, all the RGB possible, and it comes together, I think, really nicely. Like, there's setups that you see out there that are just too much RGB, but I think, honestly, everything here is really tastefully done, and it all complements each other. And again, another setup that has some nice custom components in terms of the custom keyboard build, as well as a nice mouse that's paracorded and stuff. So you can always tell when a setup goes an extra mile to make it more personal and unique. Uh, so this one, great job at that. Beastly PC as well. And again, tying all the RGB lighting on the inside components to that purple, pink, and blue kind of color theme to match the rest of the hues throughout the setup. So that's the stuff I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff that gets these setups in the best of the best it's tying everything it's the consistency and even the secondary setup over on the left side has a custom keyboard build it looks like a TV that's mounted so maybe for like console gaming and stuff you could see the PS4 controller but man havoc from 232 definitely one of my favorites of the year like I said those hexagon panels the nano leaf panels even the mini cola lights on the desk it all looks crazy in the daytime even when it's all turned off it still looks equally as nice and then also from episode 232, we have Bruno. And this one is another one that you look at it and you're just like, can I, can I have this please? Like, let me sit down in that chair. Let me just feel like I'm at the center of this command station. So Bruno's really got it all going on here. Not only does he have the three triple monitors mounted plus the TV as the overhead, you can see in the left side of the room, got the PS5, that wall mounted PC, but then look at the desk. The desk itself is a custom DIY build that he deconstructed a PS4 and an Xbox One and pretty much built it out like you would a PC, but into the desk. So he's got it all. Like I said, all the consoles, all the crazy nice PC hardware, and it just comes together looking really, really nicely. This is one of those setups where you first see it, you're like, yeah, that looks crazy. But you start to see the DIY stuff like this, and you're like, oh, there's a lot more time and dedication put into this than I first thought. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think the left side of the desk is the PS4 Pro, and this side might be a custom PC. So I'm not 100% sure, uh, but with the green coolant and stuff, that's why I first thought it was an Xbox One. Maybe it's like a crazy Xbox One dual booting PC, who knows, but either way, it looks crazy nice. And then like I showed you before, with that custom mounted wall builds, I love seeing these wall mounted PCs, and this one, also just looks sick so i don't know the exact configuration i don't know which is his main pc either way it doesn't matter because it's awesome maybe this can be one of my new projects and like goals for 2021 is to build a super cool wall mounted pc i don't know i'll reach out to you havoc if i do because clearly you know what's up you know the goods so yes 232 had some awesome setups this one obviously one of the best of the year and then rounding out this heckin' episode from episode 234, which was the last episode, we have Hamad. And this is another one where I recommend going back to that episode and finding out more about it when you have some time if you want to, you know, find out all the gear and hardware. But just look at this. Like, look at that span of the monitor. That's like a complete, almost a 180 wraparound when you're sitting there in the middle. Now, what I really like about this entire room is just the lighting. So you can see up on the ceiling, he has those sort of RGB panels with that glow, the panels on the wall behind it, the RGB X cut out in between the shelves where the collectibles and figures are, the lighting there, this all just looks insane. And take a quick peek at the cable management because for everything going on on that main desk setup, it is damn near perfect. The only real cable you see is from his headphones there. They're like, that's, that's just nuts. Also love the dual sets of peripherals here because one is pretty much like console gaming and PC gaming. Uh, there's also a lot of stuff here for streaming and it's all white hardware. So going out dedicated, getting that white Xbox controller, the white gaming pad from Razer. Like it all just visually ties so, so nicely and hell, you even got the white extended mouse pad here with all the RGB. Speaking of RGB, you see the PC, you see the components, you see how it is shining and glowing like no other, even the RGB cable combs, which is something I forgot about, the RGB SSD. 
And on the complete other side of the setup, he has a really nice spot for his entertainment center. So kick back here, watch movies, watch TV, nice wall-mounted PC. And then take a look off to the left side. There's a completely separate desk setup that is the very opposite of everything else. Everything else was crazy RGB and very over the top. This a lot more laid back and has that minimal clean vibe to it. So when it comes to a setup like this that has pretty much everything the glam the glitz the glow it's got it all and another thing i pointed out in the actual episode was like check out the print on the wall over on the left side like i assume he sits in front of there to do some videos and stuff has this really trippy sort of abstract geometric sort of design to it where it, it adds depth but it's just a singular wall it's it's crazy this entire setup is crazy hamad ended 2020 the right way going out with a bang and all right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 235 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. And like I said, check the description down below for the particular episode of each setup if you want to go back and revisit it and find out more about it in more detail. But I hope you enjoyed the best of the best from 2020 as we kick off 2021, hopefully in a more positive way going forward. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.